In this presentation, I will introduce the analysis method we developed to quantify the benefit of boundary layer ingestion using coupled air propulsive models at off-design flight conditions. Using this method, we analyze the benefit of boundary layer ingestion to the Stark ABL configuration at nine flight conditions, and I will also summarize these results. Boundary layer ingestion, or BLI, is a coupled air propulsive concept where propulsors used to ingest the boundary layer of the airframe, which results in improved air propulsive performance. One configuration that uses BLI is the Stark ABL concept introduced by NASA which uses a fan on the aft fuselage to ingest the fuselage boundary layer. This BLI fan is driven by an electric motor and the electrical power for this system is supplied by the underwing engines. Even though this concept is similar to a traditional tube and wing configuration, it is still very challenging to design the BLI system. One of these challenges is due to the requirement of quantifying the benefit of BLI at a range of flight conditions to accurately compute the total benefit of BLI. To do this, we need a coupled air propulsive analysis approach that can be used to analyze the off-design flight conditions. In this work, we use the metric power saving coefficient, or PSC, to compute the benefit of BLI. With this approach, we compare the shaft power requirement of a BLI configuration to a reference product configuration operated at the same net force on the whole body. We do this because it is difficult to compute thrust and drag for a configuration that uses BLI. The net force approach sidesteps this challenge, and we can compare the propulsive performance directly between a BLI and a product configuration. For the Stark ABL concept, the BLI configuration consists of the wing, fuselage, vertical tail, and the aft propulsor, while the product configuration consists of two separate CFT models. First, we have the CFD model of the non-BLI airframe, which consists of the wing, fuselage, and vertical tail. And secondly, we have a separate potted fan model that ingests free stream air instead of ingesting the wake of the fuselage. In both of these configurations, we use an actuator zone model to model the effect of the fan on the CFD domain. In previous work, we optimized both the BLI and potted configuration designs at nine different design points for a total of 18 optimized designs. In this work, we develop a new analysis method to quantify the benefit of BLI at off-design flight conditions, and we use the optimized designs from previous work for these analyses at nine flight conditions. This work was funded by the NASA T-Cubed and AATT projects. Before I explain the off-design analysis method and the results, I will quickly summarize the optimized designs we use in this work. In previous work, we used a coupled air propulsive model built with the OpenMDO framework to optimize the BLI and potted fan designs. The publication that details this work is currently under review, but it is a continuation of our previous work presented in the AIAA Aviation Forum in 2019. In previous work, we optimize the designs at, a co at combinations of three net force and fan pressure ratio values for a total of nine designs for both configurations. With this approach, the net force value was used as a parameter to control how much of the total thrust was supplied by the BLI fan compared to the underwing engines. Using these 18 optimizations, we computed the PSC values for nine design points in previous work and we use these 18 designs for the results in this presentation. In the following slides, I will detail the off-design analysis method we developed for coupled air propulsive models. Computing BLI benefit at off-design conditions has three main requirements. First, both BLI and product configurations must be analyzed at the same net force. This is because the PSC metric is calculated with shaft power requirements at the same net force. Secondly, we assume that the electric motor and the power transmission system for the aft propulsor is sized at cruise conditions, and therefore, we operate the BLI configuration using the same shaft power at cruise conditions. Finally, we must match the fan pressure ratio values between the CFD and the propulsion models. This is because fan pressure ratio is a performance critical parameter for design conditions it was de defined as an input to the propulsion model, while for off-design conditions, it is an output of the propulsion model, and this output must be matched to the value obtained in the CFD model. 
To satisfy these requirements, we developed a new off-design analysis method which has three steps. First, we analyze the BLI configuration at off-design flight conditions. In this process, we adjust the fan thrust to match the shaft power of the BLI fan to the shaft power at cruise conditions. We also adjust the rotation speed of the propulsion model to match the fan pressure ratio to the value from the CFD model. Secondly, we analyze the powder configuration. For this, we adjust the fan thrust to match the net force on the whole body to the net force result from the previous analysis with the BLI configuration. And similar to the BLI configuration, we also match the fan pressure ratio values between the two models. Finally, we compute the power saving coefficient values using the shaft power requirements from these simulations. Because we analyze the BLI configuration at the shaft power at cruise conditions, the differences in PSC values between on and off design conditions are caused by the changes to the shaft power requirement of the powder configuration. In the following slides, I will present the results we obtained using this method. In this study, we analyzed nine flight conditions in total. Each flight condition requires the analysis of nine optimized BLI and powder configurations. However, because the airframe of the powder configuration is the same across nine powder designs, we only need to simulate this model once. As a result, each flight condition requires 19 aeropropulsive simulations, and we selected these flight conditions to represent important portions of the mission profile and to study the sensitivity of PSC to altitude, Mach number, and lift coefficient. At each flight condition, we have the PSC results for nine designs. However, for brevity, I will only present the results for three designs at a constant net force target and varying fan pressure ratio values. And the full set of results can be found in the paper. The fan pressure ratio values on the x-axis shows the design values. I should note that the fan pressure ratio values in these off-design analyses can differ from the design values significantly. However, we present the results this way to better visualize the results. The starting point of our PSC analysis is at cruise conditions, which is shown in this plot. When we analyze the takeoff conditions, we see that PSC values drop by about 5 percentage points across all designs. This flight condition results in the lowest PSC values we obtained in this work. Following this, we studied the sensitivity of PSC to lift at a low speed and low altitude flight condition. The results show that PSC values increase uniformly across all fan pressure ratio designs as the lift coefficient is increased. We also studied the sensitivity of PSC to Mach number at an altitude of 1000 feet and lift coefficient of 0.5. These results show that increasing the Mach number benefits the high fan pressure ratio designs more. Then, we studied the sensitivity of PSC to altitude and these results show that PSC values do not change much with respect to the altitude about these flight conditions. Finally, we studied the effect of changing the lift coefficient at an altitude of 15,000 feet and a Mach number of 0.5. These results show that the PSC values increase uniformly with increasing lift coefficient, which is similar to the trend we observed previously. This creates an interesting trade-off. These results suggest that adjusting the lift distribution might increase the benefit from BLI. And to wrap things up, in this work, we developed a method to analyze the benefit of BLI at off-design flight conditions. Using this method, we performed 171 simulations to quantify the benefit of BLI to the Stark ABL concept at 9 flight conditions. This study generated the first set of off-design performance data for the Stark ABL configuration and the full set of data can be found in the accompanying conference paper. In this presentation, I introduced the off-design analysis method we developed to quantify the benefit of BLI. I also presented the results we obtained with this method, and these will guide the design of BLI configurations in the future. Thank you.